Hi guys, this is Paige. I want to make this video about how Satan is the footstool of God. Now, Satan does have power in the world. When Satan was tempting Jesus Christ, what did he say to him? And the devil, taking him up into a high mountain, showed unto him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. And the devil said unto him, All this power will I give thee in the glory of them, for that is delivered unto me. And to whomsoever I will, I give it. If thou wilt therefore worship me, all shall be thine. And Jesus Christ was like, get behind me, Satan. I'm not going to worship you. But what was Satan saying there? I have power over the kingdoms of the world. If you worship me, I'll give you that power. Why does Satan have power in the world? Because human beings gave it to him. When God made the world, he said, let us make man in our image after our likeness. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air. He was like, I'm going to make man in my image, and I'm going to give them authority and dominion over the world. And then when human beings sinned and obeyed Satan instead of God, that authority went to Satan. That's why he has power, and human beings became sinful. Then Jesus Christ came, God in the flesh, died for our sins at the cross, rose again, overcame Satan in the flesh, the ultimate sacrifice for our sins. Now through Jesus Christ, receiving the Holy Spirit, Satan is under our foot, and we overcome Satan also. We walk into Jesus Christ's victory, and Satan is under our foot, and we have the authority back over the world. We rule. We're kings, we're queens, we're, we're princesses and princes, whatever status you are. We're royalty. We rule in God's kingdom, spiritually. And Satan's under our foot because of what Jesus Christ did. What does it say in Hebrews? But to which of the angels said he at any time, sit on my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool? Father said this to Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is sat at the right hand of the Father in heaven. God is three in one, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Jesus Christ sits on the Father's right hand. And he was like, you know, sit on my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool. Satan's the footstool of God. What is a footstool? It's a place where you rest your foot. It's like a little stool or an ottoman. You rest your foot, like your feet get real tired, and you rest them on Satan under your foot. God loves to mock Satan and make him even more of his footstool. He very much enjoys this. He likes to laugh at him in other ways or words. Let's read about this. Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, Let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. This is in Psalm 2. He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. Means he mocks them. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath and vex them in his sore displeasure. So people who come against him and his children, he mocks them. He laughs about it. Well, so and so, the wicked plotteth against the just and gnasheth upon him with his teeth. The Lord shall laugh at him, for he seeth that his day is coming. So it says. When people try to destroy God's children or try to mock them, God thinks it's funny that, that they think they can hurt us and, and destroy us because God is with us and he mocks them. Now, he doesn't think it's funny in the way, I mean, he, he doesn't like that he, they hurt us, but do you see what I'm saying? It angers him, but he mocks them. God loves to do this in so many different ways. You know the Illuminati? 
the Illuminati. God used the Illuminati to bring me to himself, actually. The Illuminati is a secret society of Satanists. They do evil, wicked things. They try to glorify Satan in music and movies. And they try to mock God and things like that. You have to understand something about the Illuminati. It's not wrong to learn about what Satan's doing. Okay, and the Illuminati and things. But if you don't know what God's doing, it could bring a lot of fear in you, which is what happened to me. Because when I learned about what Satan was doing within music and things, it started making me afraid of music and things like this. And I thought, is that sin? What's going on? And I was afraid to, to listen to music, certain types of music and movies and because the Illuminati and knowledge of the Illuminati is what Satan's doing. It's not knowledge of what God's doing through the things, through these things. <clears throat> it's what Satan's doing. See, what God's doing through it is a higher level of wisdom that a lot of people don't have at all. That God showed me. It's part of my calling. You know how he showed me this? After my third thorn, my third illness, before God put that on me again, he was showing me I was going to be really blessed. He was showing me like huge blessings. And, and I was like, what's going to happen to me? I was like, what? Something good's going to happen. And then I got really sick. And I got my thorn on me. And I was like, what's happening to me? Why is this happening? But he used it, right, to teach me his grace and mercies. And for many reasons. And after he took it off partially and I was serving him. and He put this, the name of something in my mind to go look at. I'm not going to say what it is. It's very, very personal to me. And I looked at it, and it's not Christian by any means. I mean, it's Christian in the way that Jesus Christ made it, I guess. But it's not something anyone would think is a Christian thing. And I went to it, and it was my life. It was like my life. It was about my thorn. It was about what happened to me. It was things God had al already shown me. And I was like, what is this? What is this? And I asked him, because I was like, that can't be a coincidence. That's, that's like my life. And I asked him what it was. And I was like, did you make this? Or, and do you know what he told me? It was very clear what he told me. He told me, he's like, you're my muse. That's what he told me. And that was like the best day of my life, I would have to say. The best day, probably, of my entire life. One of the best days of my life. And then I was like, can you confirm that? And he did many times. What is a muse? It's someone that you create for, just for that person. He created it for me. It's very popular. Something very popular. And it's, it's by someone who is not right with God in any way. And they were trying to mock God, actually, in the, in the video, in ways. But God used it for good. And I was like, what? And then he started showing me other things he had made through other people who were also blasphemous people. That I knew he had made for me. And I was like, what? You see, if he never did that, and he, I probably wouldn't know if he would do that or not. And I never would have known this. But it was all part of his plan. And a lot of the stuff I watched in my thorn. I, I made a video about this already. What happened. I watched a lot of movies and things. And a lot of that stuff God had created for me. He, had show, he would show me, like, Beauty and the Beast again after that. And I was like, what? It was funny because God was already showing me. I was like, Belle, for uh, 
before that. And I was like, okay, you must mean like, it's like she has a book. It's like I have the Bible. It's kind of, he meant he made it for me. He made me a Disney princess. When I tell people that, I know it's cra it sounds crazy, but he then showed that to me after he told me that. Show me all these parts in it and that the girl's name who plays her is Paige. And I was like, what? Yeah. And through it all, he was showing me his mercies and how he mocks Satan through these things he has created for me. And he wants me to tell people this. You have to understand, if God never made you anything personally, and you're his child, you're very special and loved. Okay? But this is my testimony, and these are high-level rewards from him. Okay? High-level rewards he's given me. After all of the illnesses he placed on me to refine me, and I've served him a lot, and I've been very repentant. Do you see Beauty and the Beast in general? A lot of people would think that's blasphemous. I was thinking it was too. Because they tried to use it that way. They put beast in it. Like beast in Revelation. But then God made parts of it for me. To glorify himself through it. And mock Satan. Because I'm at a very high level in God's kingdom. I'm one of his top women. And this is how he's rewarded me a lot. He made me a lot of stories just for me. Best day of my life, man. I'm telling you. There's someone in my, that I know that hurt me a lot in my life. And this person drew something that God had already shown me in a music video. He that he had made and it was in the picture that they drew and right after they drew it he showed me the word muse he's like look how I love you I create for you right through them without their knowledge I know how they've hurt you very high blessings from him it's amazing you see and through it he taught me his mercies and grace He's created things for me through things I would never think he would speak through, but he wanted to glorify himself through it. He uses me a lot for that because I'm really his child and I've been through a lot and he wants to reward me and some of the things he has me show people to glorify himself. Some things God has made for all his daughters like Romeo and Juliet, but he's made a lot of things just for me. That's how he started showing me that. Before that, God was already speaking to me through some music, but this was different because it's by people you would think they're very in trouble with God and God would have nothing to do with that. Actually, he wants to speak through it and he wants to mock them for trying to mock him. I'm going to show you guys how amazing our father is and how high he is. Some of the things he has created through these people who tried to mock him. And it's going to blow your mind. I, I mean, to the people who can see it, it's kind of controversial. And I just want to say, if you're a child a little girl watching me, or or even a man, some of the things I would not tell you to go look at because in one of the videos, the woman that makes it, that made it part of it, she's not dressed appropriately, okay? But God put parts in these things to glorify himself. He loves to mock Satan, and it's part of my calling. Some of these things, I mean... God's been waiting a long time to be glorified through. And he will use me to do it. We're so small, you know, to God. Very tiny. Even our size alone, that, that the Holy Spirit working through us, we overcome Satan. And we're so much smaller than Satan. 
I'm very small to God, very tiny. We all are. Satan is bigger than me. He's like a giant. It's like David and Goliath. <laughs> you know, in a way. Glorifies God, even our size. Because greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. We overcome Satan with the power of the Holy Spirit. And the blood of the Lamb, the word of our testimony. Jesus Christ said, These things have I spoken unto you, that in me you have might have might have peace. In the world you shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. He overcame Satan through him, we overcome. That's why in Revelation, he, Jesus Christ says to him that overcometh, will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I also overcame and have sat down with my father in his throne. God loves to mock Satan through his children. Laugh at them. Now, I'm going to start off with this. And people have to understand what I'm doing is I'm doing this to mock Satan. Showing people. It's also showing people God's graces and mercies. Through it too. This video, this is uh, Born to Make You Happy, right? I, I showed you guys this already, right? Here she is with the blue butterfly and in the red bed, which means rest in my righteousness. There's rocks, or it represents rocks. You're on the rock. Have joy over my love for you. Rest in my righteousness, right? You're under my feathers. But look what else she's doing in it. This sign. I I was asking God. I was like, I know there's something else in here. I felt it in the spirit, and then God showed me that. That is is the sign. It's the devil horn sign. Okay, and if you watch the video, it's very very intentional that she does that. Okay, now something about Britney Spears. Britney Spears is not. She's not, I don't believe that she's a practicing witch. She believes she's a Christian. I don't know if she knew what that means or what, but they definitely told her to do it. And God was showing me what they did through it. But you have to understand too, when this, when this thumb is out like this, it doesn't always mean, you know, giving glory to Satan. It, actually, in sign language, it means I love you. I don't know why that's like that. But, but she's not using it in that way, all right? But do you see? That's in there, but also the other message, which I just showed you guys. You see how God puts things in their mind without their knowledge when they're trying to glorify evil? Britney Spears believes she's a Christian. She needs to repent and be born again, okay? But, you know, they told her to do it. <laughs> Here's Taylor Swift doing it. This, I had already shown you guys this video. Okay, I'm just showing you again because God wants me to. This is called We're Never Getting Back Together. Here she's doing the devil horns. This is like really, really intentional. And she's pointing at the audience. They do the devil horn. They're like glorifying the devil and trying to. Here's the, the uh, goat head the goat head you know represents satan he's like the goat and here's the white heart which represents jesus christ right my beloved is like a heart they know about the heart thing but god will make things he's made things for me with the heart in it you know and you, i i don't believe they always know and they're doing it on purpose or whatever god's doing it but you have to understand even if people are trying to put it in there for evil, God actually put it in there. That's how high he is. Even if their intention, they were like, I'm going to put this in there for evil. Like say they tried to put a butterfly in there and they were like, I'm going to put this in there for evil. But God actually put it in their mind to put the butterfly there. 
their intention was evil, but that wasn't part of God. It was just him doing it. That's how high he is, and then he uses it for good. I hope people understand what I'm saying. And then exactly after that scene, here's the palm leaves. Palm leaves are used in the Bible to glorify Jesus Christ and worship him. He put it in there right after she did that. Here she is in the red and white shirt. Means, you know, the candy cane dots mean Dorothy, gift from God. That's like a message from God to me. Okay, like you're in the candy cane, you're in my righteousness, this is my gift. Do I believe she knows that? No, I don't believe she knows that. And here she's wearing daisies and she's doing this sign again. And God's message to me is, you're uh, in, in my righteousness, white as snow. You're in my purity, you're covered in daisies, Paige, which God had shown me, it was covered in daisies. Now, does this woman know about daisies? Do Satanists try to use it to say they're pure? Possibly, but God wanted it there and he uses it for what he wants and it was a gift to me. This is how high God is, that right when they're doing this, He's like, look, Paige, you're uh, covered in daisies. Right after she did that, you know, the palm leaves and, you know, you're uh, in my righteousness, the candy cane. That's my gift to you. This is hilarious to God. Do you see this? Huh. Show you how high our father is. These people try to mock him and, and, and try to, you know, glorify evil. Here's Katy Perry. This is called Dark Horse. I'm not going to talk about her video. I just want to talk about, this is the front of her video. You know when God was showing me that his eye is blue? This was one of the things he showed me also. He was like, it's blue. I was like, what? See, this is her trying to glorify evil, you know, promote the all-seeing eye. That's like the thing with Satan, the all-seeing eye. It's like a Freemason Illuminati thing the way they worship the devil. You, you see Satan speaks through symbols, but so does God. He copies, but these people don't know that. It's hidden. A lot of people don't know that, actually. God had to teach me. I had to get to a really high spiritual level through all his refinement, and then he wanted to, me to teach people this, glorify himself. You see this, the eye. They use that a lot because Satan's eye is blue also. Here's Taylor Swift, and I need to calm, you need to calm down. A lot of people won't even see that this is an eye, but it's an eye. You see? It's like a blue eye. God also used that to show me his eye is blue. <laughs> you see, this song, God created for me parts of this to um, give me a present. You know, he, he likes to do that with me. Some things will not really be having blasphemous things in there, but a certain amount of things will that he gives me. It, it's him showing off. It's how he mocks Satan. He loves to do it. So here we have the Rose of Sharon. It's like the red and white candy cane plus the pink, right? Which means the, you know, the candy cane. Look, Paige, my, my eye is blue and you're in my righteousness. This is a message from me. I'm the Rose of Sharon. When she's trying to use it on purpose to mock God and glorify Satan with the all-seeing eye. This is amazing. This person, this whole video is, is against Christianity. It's, I believe... People, higher up people told Taylor Swift, okay, we got to promote homosexuality. And then they kind of had her do this whole thing. That's what I believe happened. This is someone pointing, they, they have an arrow. Guess what they're shooting at? Five. Five. Remember how I told you five represents God's grace, love, and mercy? Five. That's what they're pointing at. That's what they're shooting at. You know what that means? I don't want anything of God's love, grace, and mercy. I don't want to repent. I don't want to come to him. I want to live in my sin. Now, homosexuality, this is not in hatred or anything, um, but homosexuality is a sin unto death. It says in the Bible, 
You know, those who practice it will not inherit the kingdom of God. People need to turn from that and be born again. Okay? It's a sin unto death. We are not to practice. They're promoting it here and they're shooting at five. Do you see this is the candy cane, the red and white? I don't really think they know that. I think God just had it be that way to show me I'm in, in his righteousness and five for me. He uses it for good. I don't know how he does everything, but God's grace, love, and mercy is upon me because I'm his child and I live in repentance. You see here, they shot right at five. Right after that, they show these people. These are supposed to represent Christians. If you see here, it says homosexuality is a sin. and then, Right? They shot at, they don't want anything to do with that. And that's how that person feels about it. Like, yes, I don't, I don't want anything. They shot at it, right? This is their depiction of what they think Christians are. Just, you know, crazy and stuff like that. Now, after this, you see this man and he has this thing of tea, right? God has shown me already, he spoke to me through tea, what is in it? And it means peace. T, lowercase t, is a cross. I died for you at the cross. Have peace. God actually showed me before this, he would show me tea sets and tea, like tea cups with the pink rose on it. Do you see there's the pink roses on that? I believe that's the pink rose. You know. Have peace, you're in my righteousness. The red and the white rose together makes pink. God would show me I'm like the pink rose. It means like, you know, you're in my righteousness. Have peace. I died for you at the cross. You see? But they're trying to use it. God put that in their mind. They're trying to use it to be like, oh, you're telling me I'm in sin. I'm having such a good time and I'm at peace. But then... God uses it for me to say, you know, Paige, you're under my mercies. You're in the candy cane. My eye is blue. You know, have peace. I died for you at the cross. Have peace. You know, I died for you at the cross. And exactly after that, it goes to this snowman. God would speak to me through the snowman. It means you're white as snow. And the top hat means you have power on your head. Here over here, we see flamingos God has been speaking to me through flamingos for a while it means serenity God put that in there I have peace I died for you at the cross T it's more subtle but it's him here they think Christians are so they're not smart they can't even spell you know it's to mock God and Christians God who God is, when people mock him and his children, do you think he just sits there and does nothing? That's not who God is. God will put something in there to glorify himself and mock Satan. Not always, but he does it. And then he shows off how high he is. Isn't he awesome? Back, back to that. <laughs> yeah, you have to understand, too, there's some people who claim to be Christians, and they do this. They're hateful towards people who are homosexuals or living in sin, and that's not of God either. But this is directed towards all Christians, right? It's not just... Now, here she is just hanging out. She's like, oh, I'm at peace. I'm just chilling while you're telling me this. Look at her sunglasses, the heart. God would speak to me through these, through sunglasses with hearts. It means I'm looking at you with heart eyes. I asked God if he wanted me to put that in there because it's more subtle and he, he wants me to. It's a message from him. And then of course they don't even think we can spell or it's just mocking us. Now even Katy Perry's in it, you know. Look here. Pop queen pageant. What does God tell me? I make a pop. Now this is here because they had a drag queen contest. Now you have to understand when I'm talking about this, it's not to mock these people. 
Christians tell people, you know, it's a sin. It, it's out of love because we want people to go to heaven. It's not in hatred, but you see they're trying to say it's hatred, you know. And here you see... I make a pop. God tells me I'm a queen. And if you do this, my name is actually right there. Pop queen page. I know, but it's him. It's not spelt exactly the same, but it sounds just the same as my name. I know this is a gift from him. There's other things in it that are really personal that I'm not going to talk about that he put there for me. Why wouldn't he do it too? I mean, he wants me to show people it too, to glorify himself. Here's the red and the white flower. You're in my righteousness page. Here's them. They're trying to make it like, oh, this is love to accept these things. But God hates that sin. And people who practice it won't go to heaven. You see how she tries to say, like, oh, I'm at peace, I'm chilling. When she faces Jesus Christ, if she never repented, she'll be afraid out of her mind for what she's doing and promoting sin. Because it's love when we tell people this stuff, right? Because we don't want them to go to hell. God has to judge sin. Here's the palm leaf. Again, God puts in there, and here's a windmill. Windmills mean, you know, wind, like the Holy Spirit's like the wind. Here's the, the rainbow. I make the rainbow, and I'm in the rainbow. The next one, God has been waiting to be glorified through this for like 13 years. This is by Katy Perry. It's called I Kissed a Girl and I Liked It. Here's her showing the eye. You see, they're promoting sin. They're promoting sin. God then comes in and puts something in there. Here's the red and the white candy cane. Here, look at her earring. Look at what it says. Law. L-A. L-A. Do you remember what I told you guys? L-A means law, which means God is gracious. I talked about this before in the past. It also means Los Angeles, angels. Paige, you're my angel. You're in my righteousness. Law, there's also actually a song called La La means I love you, La La. La actually means tulip too, which means perfect love. But it also means God is gracious. I love you. I'm gracious to you. You're in my righteousness. I have mercies on you, Paige. You're my angel. Look at her shoes. The red bow. What does the red bow mean? God's righteousness. You know, a present from him. What is this? Dots. Dots. Dorothy, gift from God, righteousness. Now, she is not in God's righteousness. This is a message to me. This is a present from God for me. It's high-level gifts. But also, you have to understand some of this stuff. God wants me to show people, and it glorifies him. And that's my calling, too. But he's given me a lot of stuff I haven't shown people, but it's where I'm at in his kingdom. This is dots, gift from God. I give you my righteousness page. You got the bow on your foot. It's symbolic. You know, you're in my righteousness. What does Dorothy wear? The red bow. Dorothy, dots, gift from God. Here you see the red, the white, and the gold which Jesus Christ wears, he tells me I wear symbolically. Here's the L.A. again. It's a better shot of her earring. You're under my feathers, Paige. Do you see this? The feathers. Put it directly in her mind without her knowledge. Rest in my righteousness. You're under my feathers, Red and white bedding. In the beginning, she's actually wearing red. She's on the bed and she's wearing gold. I don't want to show that because she, she's not dressed modestly. But I'm a woman. I don't lust after that stuff. And God told me to watch it. And all this stuff was in there. And he wants to be glorified through it. That's for sure. It's very important to him. Here's a pink rose petal that's falling on her. You're, you're in my righteousness. You're in, 
you, you have, you're in the pink rose. You're my angel. You're like a messenger, red and white. Rest in my righteousness. What is her new song that, where she made that song part of it? It's like a remix with that in it. Daisies. What is she singing it? Cover me in daisies. Cover me in daisies. She actually mentions peacocks in this. I think she's using it in like a bad way. <laughs> but it's it, that God's that high. Do you see God's sense of humor in this? This is how God had shown me I was covered in daisies, actually, through her song a while back. And look, you make the rainbow page. It's, it's scientifically proven that sound, there's a color to sound. It's rainbow. Do you see God's sense of humor here? And this, this, this was also to promote homosexuality. This is who God is. That's how high he is. Did you see that? Especially that I kissed a girl and I liked it. What did God have to do? He had to take me, refine me, refine me many times, put the thorn on me, take it off, put the th teach me how he speaks, teach me the symbols, teach me LA, you know, teach me the red bow, dots, you know, the red and white bed, the feathers, the pink rose, red, white, and gold. And then he showed me that. To show me he did it. Right through her, without her knowledge. It is hilarious to him. You know how much this mocks Satan? God's been waiting such a long time to glorify himself through that. Do you see how high he is? It's amazing. People think they're like, I'm going to support, you know, sin. I'm going to, I'm going to sing about sin. I'm going to glorify the devil and all these things. She actually did the, the horns in that one too, but I didn't include that because a woman behind her wasn't dressed appropriately and I don't want my brothers to see it. I wouldn't say men should watch that video, but I'm a woman. It's different. And then God creates right through her without her knowledge to give me a present. And then he shows, you know, and then I show his children, it glorifies him. People think they can mock God. God is so much higher than, than, than their mocking of him. They will never be able to mock him. <laughs> you know what I mean? He will mock them for trying to mock him. Satan is under our foot. This is part of my calling. He's also doing this to show people he's real and the doctrines that I preach are from him. So people can get out of their false doctrines where they think they don't need to do anything. God hates sin. These people are promoting sin. But do you see? Their talent, their singing is not evil. It's a gift from God, their talent. But they're using it for evil. But then God comes in and uses it for good gives me a reward. Now, I'm not going to say I would, you know, listen to that song by Katy Perry. I kissed a girl and I let and glorify God to it or whatever, or worship him to it because you can't really to that song. But there's other songs like the daisies I could worship him to. It's gifts from him, high level gifts. He has a really good sense of humor, wouldn't you say? Satan is his footstool. You know how much hell Satan has put me through? I take pleasure in glorifying God and mocking Satan. So, I hope you guys like this video. God's showing me who he is. He's shown me who he is through these things. Just his sense of humor, his mercies, his love. <laughs> And how he wants to be glorified through these things, even when people try to mock him. He's so much higher than them. And they don't even know it. All right, love you guys. Bye.